Dear friends, it is an obvious fact that if we want to maintain our physical body, we need to eat and drink. Nutrition is essential to our existence and good health. The same goes for our spiritual life. In order to develop a healthy spirituality, we have to be well nourished. What kind of food do we need? The answer is to be found in today's liturgy of the world. The first reading and the gospel tell us about the feeding of a large number of people with small amounts of food. Both Elisha and Jesus fed large crowds. Logically speaking, there was no enough food for both groups. However, there were even leftovers. It meant that they had received more than they needed. Both miracles speak about God's generosity for his people. Moreover, they point towards the bread of life that Jesus will offer, the Eucharist. Let us carefully listen to what St. John wrote. Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and gave them out to all who were sitting ready. It sounds familiar, doesn't it? The Lord repeated similar words at the Last Supper. Today we hear those words at every Mass. Brothers and sisters, that is our spiritual food. We need to receive that food from heaven regularly, if we want to be spiritually alive and healthy. Not only that, we need the Eucharist in order to live in unity and peace among ourselves. In today's second reading, St. Paul says, Do all you can to preserve the unity of the Spirit by the peace that binds you together. There is one body, one Spirit, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God who is Father of all, through all and within all. It is the Eucharist that makes us one in Christ. It is Sunday Mass that brings us all together, no matter our skin color, culture, race or country we come from. We are the body of Christ, the Church gathered to worship our God. Brothers and sisters, as the body of Christ, we are called to be holy. These are not just empty or pathetic words. Saint Paul implores us to lead a life worthy of our vocation. And our calling is to become saints. He says, bear with one another charitably, in complete selflessness, gentleness and patience. The Eucharist gives us strength to be able to live according to Saint Paul's wish. The Eucharist gives us life in abundance because the consecrated host is truly the bread of life. Moreover, it will lead us towards eternal life. Later, in the sixth chapter, Saint John will quote Jesus' words, Truly, truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh and drink the blood of the Son of Man, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day, because my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. My dear friends, let us reflect upon this great mystery, and let us thank Jesus for the gift of the Eucharist available to us at every Mass.